Yo, what up, y'all? If anyone on Facebook recognizes this, this was the extra large paludarium I used to keep my previously owned Felsuma Grandis giant day geckos. Unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond my control, they have since been rehomed to a loving new home along with the hatchlings. Uh, to a guy that I still keep in touch with, and now I will be moving on to something a little more easy for me to maintain, which is this beautiful Exoterra terrarium right here, which will one day house my African fat tail geckos. And as you can tell, this is no strange dirt, but dirt from the paludarium I moved from here to here. Well, either a third or half of it anyway, but I've already decorated it with this beautiful back centerpiece, this African violet, which I thought was pretty fitting, and a few hiding places, basking spot, and a cool area, which I will be putting plants in there pretty soon. But this gives it a more forgiving temperature gradient for the animals to properly thermal regulate. As you all know, the bigger the cage, the more forgiving temperatures can be. Oh, before I forget, this is supposed to be a red vein plant. I might have chopped off the leaves too close accidentally, so I'm hoping this will grow back just fine. And yes, this is old soil. It's already aged and bioactive, chock filled with springtails and different kinds of isopods. But now comes the finishing up the fun part and adding these very specific plants to this terraria right where my brother's dog nail is what up buddy now this plant in particular is an african native this is known as watts chain it is a succulent and this will go nicely right either right next to this red vein or let me see right here i haven't decided yet i really haven't um that'll come soon enough now, for those plant specialists, I should say, that are very nitpicky, these two, yes, they're not African natives, but I picked these two out because they're a little on the small side, and that dark coloration is really going to bring out the colors when the geckos wedge themselves in between them. So this one in particular is known as Purple Waffle in English. Dark green on top, and very beautiful purple underneath the leaves which i really like and unfortunately i lost the tag for this one about a week ago so it was on the small side because the other ones were a little bit too large i'll be sure to link a description of the name below soon as i can but again like the waffle it is green and purple more or less throughout so more or less, the setup will probably be something like this. I'd like to put the waffle next to the cave and this guy right over here. Uh, as for the uh, for the chain, I don't know if I'm going to put it next to the red vein or where the water feature is. I want to keep it as a little bit close to the hot side because this is be this being a succulent needs to have a more drier environment, but um. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, that's all I have for right now. I will be sure to show you the finished product when all this is said and done, which will probably be in a few minutes from now. Also, before I forget, I am uh, looking to invest in a GoPro so I can take better video pictures of this and learn to use or learn how to, I guess, get some like editing software because all this is new to me. I'm sort of tech challenged, so I'm all using this on my phone, which is fine by itself. A lot of people can probably do this better than I. Anyway, thank you guys. Like and subscribe. And I will be coming up with more stuff in due time. Peace, y'all.